Hi, Clint Dotson, field agronomist for Pioneer. Today I'd like to talk to you about estimating corn yield. Now, if you've ever been with a farmer in a field, they almost always, whenever it gets to this time of year, ask you the question, well, what's it gonna make? Well, I'm here to today to, to answer that question, to kind of help you out um, on estimating what that corn's gonna yield. Um, it's never a perfect science, but we'll do the best we can with the, the tools that we have available to us. So it's really gonna come down to about three different parts, okay? We need to get an accurate stand count. We need to make sure that we know how many kernels are on that ear of corn. And then there's a multiplier that we'll use to kind of figure out how much that corn weighs. So there's a few tools we're gonna need to make sure we can get these accurate counts, okay? The first thing that we're gonna need is a tape measure. I like to keep me a big long screwdriver like this handy so I can stake down the end of my tape measure while I'm counting the, the row length. So what we want to find whenever we're estimating our stand count is one one thousandth of an acre. And that'll vary based on your row width. On 30 inch row corn like what we're going to deal with today, 17 feet 5 inches is a one one thousandth of an acre. So we'll use that number and we'll take several stand counts throughout this field to make sure that we get an average stand count for the entire field. The other thing that we're gonna need is a nice spot to be able to count our ears. So I have a corn ear board right here, not necessary, but something that I kind of use to keep my ears organized um, so that we can get the ears that we pull from the field back here to, to the end of my truck and we'll uh, count the row lengths long and the kernels around as well. All right, so we're out here in our cornfield and we're getting ready to do some stand counts. I like to do about 10 stand counts, uh, depending on the variability of the field. Pretty even emergence that we got. Um, out here, so we're gonna probably do about 10 stand counts. We might go around to a couple different spots in the field and do those 10, 10 stand counts so we can make sure we get a good average. So when we're out here in the field, on 30 inch row corn, like what we're standing in right now, 30 inch row corn is 17 foot, five inches. Okay, that's how long you wanna count. And the reason that we're doing that is because that's one one thousandth of an acre. So we can take that number times a thousand and that gives us our population for, um, for 30 inch row corn. If you're in 15 inch row corn, then it's 34 foot 10 inches. In 20 inch row corn, it's 26 foot two inches. And if you have 40 inch corn, it's gonna be 13 foot one inch. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll stake down the end of my tape measure here, right at the, at the base of one of, the, one of these plants and stretch out my tape. So right here, 17 foot, five inches is where we wanna be. So I'll start counting right there. As you can see, there's no plant right there, so I'll just start counting on the next plant. As you can also see in this row, there's a gap right here and a double, and, and you know our spacing's maybe just a little bit off. That's why we do several different average counts to make sure we get an accurate estimate of our population. So I'll go ahead and start now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's 14,000 right there. I'll go ahead and count on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 is what we got right there. A lot of guys will come through there and they'll see this plant that's all by himself and they'll grab that ear thinking that that's gonna help them, you know, up their, their yield estimate a little bit, but that's not accurate. The best way to do this, and it seems kind of silly, but you wanna be able to go through here and select random ears. So what I like to do is just close my eyes, grab an ear and pull it off the plant and take it back to the truck, okay? So I'll grab 10 ears from this spot and I'll probably do that in two or three different spots. Um, we'll get a yield estimate for kind of the different areas in this field, but I'm gonna go through here and just kind of randomly sample about 10 ears. I've got my 10 ears selected randomly. Um, I'm gonna take these back to the truck and I'll show you how to get an accurate kernel count from each of these ears so we can make sure that our estimate's as good as it can be. Okay, so we've gone through here and we counted each of these ears on the number of kernel rows it is around and the number of kernels it is long. We've come up with a 20 by 31, a 14 by 28, a 14 by 36, a 16 by 36, a 16 by 35, a 16 by 20, an 18 by 31, a 16 by 36, a 16 by 31, and a 12 by 36. Once again, these are randomly selected ears that we found throughout this field. So we've got our population, 
that we found by going out there and counting 17 foot five inches. We've got our average number of kernels around. We've got our average numbers of kernel long. So those are three of the numbers that we need. The last thing that we need is an estimate on how heavy this grain is. That's really going to be up to the agronomist or the farmer or whoever's doing this estimate to kind of know how well that hybrid performs under the conditions that it's been under and how the grain fill period's been. That number can vary by up to 40%. Typically, that number is going to be a 0 0.01116. Under more stress conditions, that number could be as low as 0 0.009. And under more optimum conditions, that can be a 0 0.013. So, our calculation is yield in bushels per acre is the number of ears in one one thousandth of an acre times the average number of kernels per row times the average number of rows per ear times that value that we just determined whether the corn was stressed or optimal. So on this field right here, we got 15 ears and one one-thousandth of an acre. Our number of kernels around each year averaged out to be 15.8. Our average kernel length was 32. And the factor that I'm using, since this is dryland corn in Oklahoma, is a .010. That gives us an average yield on this area of this field of 75.8 bushels. Now it's going to be important that we do this in several different spots throughout the field so we can really get an average, accurate estimate of yield. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.